friends, another fantastic side to serve with anything. Steak, chicken, fish, sauteed mushroom. I'm gonna make them delicious. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We sauteed mushroom together. Well, hello there, friends. I'm gonna show you how to make those beautiful sauteed mushrooms. Today I'm gonna break the rules. You know, onion always number one. Unless there's bacon, unless there's mushroom. You're gonna say, whoa, 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 how am I supposed to remember all this? I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna explain. What happened is if we put the onion now, the mushroom are gonna require so much time to get some caramelization and get rid of the water then my onion will be cremated. So that's the only one time, don't do it again. Don't tell anybody I said so, otherwise they're gonna go, mama mia. Does he know what he's talking about anymore? He's lost it, I think. No, no, okay, only one time. You're gonna see, I promise you, you're gonna see, friends. You're gonna see what happened, I promise you. You're gonna know. It's not like you're not gonna know. I'm, <laughs> it's not like you're not gonna know. Of course it's going, you're not gonna, you're gonna know, because you're watching me. Friends, I'm using my uh, roasted garlic olive oil. Use a good olive oil. Roasted garlic olive oil for this is perfect. Eh? Now the mushroom. We're going to use just a regular button mushroom. Because it's delicious and, and you get them everywhere. For sure, in every city in the world, there is plain button mushroom. Use whatever mushroom you want. Remember, you, if you get some wild mushroom you want to use, that's perfectly fine too. It's going to be a nice recipe. When they're small like that, leave them alone. I'm checking the oil. I want the oil to be 365 before I put it in. I can smell it already. As the, this oil gets hot, you can start to smell it. So it's, uh, it's about 345 now, 355, so I'm going to wait a second. And then we're going to put them in. 365 is my perfect... Uh, a temperature for the for the oil, so we're gonna put it in. And let me tell you a little bit about the mushrooms. Eh? So, when they're small, like this, you want to leave them whole. Leave them whole. Don't worry about it. When they're big like this, you want to cut them in quarter, or maybe you can cut them in sixes. They're very big. Don't worry. You can cut them in sixes. Okay. And if they're small like this, but not small enough, you cut them in half. Okay. It's very simple. You know what? I, it's, I find it's easier if you do it upside down when you cut them. See, it's up to you how you want to cut them. I think if they're small, they're going to be perfectly fine. So what we're going to do here, friends, we're going to salt them because that's going to help us draw the water, right? So we put salt on it. And the, and the heat is high, all right, salt, and we're going to put some uh, cracked black pepper, right? It's not complicated. You know, nothing I do is complicated. Eh? Uh, and, uh, and so every steakhouse in America, you go, I sauteed mushroom. Some of them uh, not so good. Some of them are delicious. We're going to make a delicious one. So we're going to put some, uh, you see, it's going to take a long time. You'll see. We'll come back in a minute and we'll explain. We're going to let them do their thing. And, and don't worry about how long it takes. You got, you got to take your time. Red onion, you can use regular onion. If you want or a, a Spanish or a white onion, it'd be perfectly fine. Uh, parsley, can you cilantro? Then I have a fresh herbs. I have a mix of uh, thyme and rosemary. Those are fresh uh, uh, thyme or rosemary. Then we have a uh, uh, garlic. Then we're gonna put in, and then we're gonna bring up a little bit of acidity. It's always good to put some lemon in there. In anything, nice to put a little bit of acid, a little vinegar, a little lemon. It's nice to balance always. See. The olive oil, and then we're gonna put a little bit of white wine. I have a Chardonnay, you could use a, a Sauvignon Blanc, would be perfect for this. Sauvignon Blanc would be perfect. So, friends, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we don't wanna make the video too long, because this is gonna take a long time. Uh, I'm gonna put maybe just a touch more olive oil. They really soak the olive oil, I'll tell you. Just a little bit of olive oil, wonderful. And uh, we're gonna continue sauteing them. And when they got a nice color, it's gonna take a little, it's gonna take a few minutes. And I want a color everywhere. I'm going to have a beautiful color, and it's starting to release the water. We're going to come back, and we're going to finish the recipe. Because the garlic, imagine, you see, now, now you'll understand. Sometimes you see people putting the onion and the garlic together at the same time. Then the onion, it takes, takes four or five minutes to cook. Depends what kind of onion. If it's a red onion, maybe two minutes. 
And the garlic takes only a few seconds. And you see them putting the garlic at the beginning. Don't ever put the garlic at the beginning, friends. Unless you like burned garlic. Eh? I like it just lightly bruised. So the fragrance of the garlic comes. That's why you put it at the end. Or you put it just before you're going to put something wet. A little bit of white wine. All right, friends. I'll be back in a few minutes when those mushrooms are beautiful golden brown, okay? It's going to take a few minutes. We'll be back in a few minutes. Look, 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 friends. You see? And they already do it down to nothing. Nothing. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? And they smell amazing. All right. Now, friends, onion. And like I said, the onion is a, is a red onion. So uh, red onion don't need to cook that much. You know, like a white or a Spanish onion, and those are really, really, really got to cook them, caramelize them. I mean, you cook them. I'm not saying don't cook them. We're cooking them, but they don't require as much cooking. And you can all imagine right now that if I would have uh, uh, put them, the onion at the beginning, they'd be brown. They'd be, they'd be gone right now because this took about... Uh, I would say about five, six, seven minutes. Five, six, seven? I don't know. I wasn't looking. Uh, was it five, six, or seven? What was it, Jack? What do you say? You don't know either. See? Then nobody's looking. <laughs> All right. So look. We got the onion right there. We're going to put the uh, fresh thyme in the rosemary. If you don't have fresh, use dry, but be careful. Use less dry, okay? Look at it. The fried pan is empty. Mamma mia. All right, a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, let's put the garlic first. Put the garlic. Remember, we don't want to burn it. You know, we could use it just a little more olive oil, just a little bit. Don't, don't be crazy now. Right? They, oh, it smells amazing, friends. Absolutely amazing. A little bit of lemon juice. Just a little bit of lemon juice. You know, I reduced the heat a little too much. A little bit of the chopped parsley. And a little bit, very little, friends. A little bit of, uh, of uh, Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc will work great because the lemon, it gives a nice fresh to it. Sauvignon Blanc, oh, oh, just a little bit. You're going to say, well, you were right. You really put a little bit here. We're going to let it evaporate it. And now we're going to add a little bit of lemon, lemon zest. Just a little bit of lemon zest, friends. Now, remember, when you're putting the lemon zest, friends, it's very important when you use the microplane like this, okay? You put the tool on top of the lemon. Not the lemon on top of the tea, like the tip, the, the tool. Like all them ding-dong, they go like this. Don't do it that way, because you don't know where you're going. <laughs> my regular subscriber is going to say, oh, mamma mia, how many times are you going to say that? Just a couple of times. You know, what happened is that every day we got a few thousand new subscribers every day. So they don't know, you know. So bear with me when I'm repeating myself because I want to make sure everybody gets it. I want to make sure the new subscriber, what do you think? Do you think they look good or what? I think they look amazing. You know what's going to make them better? What do you think? You're right. A little bit of butter. Just a little bit. We don't need a lot. Boom, boom. Couple of things of butter in there. That's all you need. Melt this up. Just a little bit. We don't need a lot. Just a little bit of extra olive oil. Very little. You notice that you put very little. And my friends, those... A sauteed mushroom. So you know what I like to do? I serve it dinner. I just put them in a, in a, in a little dish like this, and I put it in the middle of the table. This is like, a, let me put it right here, so Jack uh, doesn't have to be uh, trying to follow me too much. I said, oh, is that better for you, Jack, right now? I don't move, see? I don't move the disc. <laughs> Whenever I move the disc, it's got to go around the camera. I try to figure out where I am. So here we have it, right there. Look at this. It smells amazing, my friend. They do smell absolutely amazing. You go to a restaurant and they give you this as a side order, you're going to go, oh my lord, I love this place. You see? 
right here. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. So what, what else could we do? We could sprinkle just a little bit more of the lemon zest on it like this. We could put a little bit more of the parsley right there, friends. Just a little bit. And then, you know, we like to remind people what it is. And putting a little bit of thyme and a little bit of rosemary fresh on it like that. And my friends, this is my sauteed mushroom. I'm going to test them to make sure they taste good. <laughs> I don't really know. They smell amazing. Even if you don't like mushroom, friends, you got to give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. They're hot. Mmm. <laughs> They're amazing. And the number one flavor that I just got is my lemon zest. Friends, I hope you make it. Don't wait to have a steak. Make it right now for anything. Chicken, fish, they'll be delicious. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, friends. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching. Mmm. Man, they're good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. No, I'm not going to eat anymore. But I would eat the whole thing right now. They're so delicious. <laughs> you're looking like you want to grab another one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Mmm. <laughs> they're delicious.